Welcome to the Pew! The Pew! Pew. We're back. back. Yes, with a... From our episodes. Bad, with a bad girls of slutcore. Um, uh, it's a so. term that we... Uh, I don't know if we actually have made that up or if it already hmm. exists. It definitely already you exists know, These concept. days, anytime you make anything up, it already exists. That's true. I did a hashtag the other day that I thought nobody would ever... Um, would ever have thought of it. It was like 37 hours. Um, a mere Google search would have told you that. A hashtag? You, could, you hashtag Google searches? You I mean, can Google search hashtag? Yes. And what happens? You'll get all the results. And then it'll show you all the things they're connected to? Uh, presumably. Oh my god. Where do they have all the room for all that information? It's in the cloud. I got well. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, we should have found him. The should, cloud used to be heaven. We but should now have found it's just it. Google. We, we've been up there long enough. We should, we enough time. We should have seen it. Okay, so um, Ernie's been getting an education, or a de education, I think. Or an edumacation. Edumacation on um, these bad girls of rap. And um, I don't know even where to begin. Um, I guess, you know, I, I, I guess you could. I, I wouldn't consider. I, I would consider. Uh, Nicki Minaj and um, and Rihanna and these these girls kind of at the top of this. I, I don't think they even want to be involved, frankly. Um, they're being dragged into it by these younger girls. And when I say younger, I mean like younger, like 11, 12, 13 years old. Um, and Wait a minute, I don't think Cupcake is 11. No, Cupcake's not. Um, I guess we could, we could start with Cupcake. Um, cup, but, For but, all of you who do not know who Cupcake is, Michael will explain. Cupcake is this new sensation, new hip hop sensation. Um, she is kind of the epitome of, well, Cardi B, I guess, kind of started it all with um, her um, her like, shameless rendition of, I guess, being a, a whore, and a, like a, a cocksucker, right? <laughs> yeah, well, I, mean, I would describe Cupcake as just like this really trashy um, rapper who is singing about how she can go down on a man and, or any man she wants. And uh, you know she's like a, I guess like a sex freak, and she's proud right. of it. She's right. not hiding it anymore. She's right. Well, that's what that's what the gist her of sex all these, freak flag that, high. That's what the gist of all these songs. Are. It's sort of like with, with the club kids. We were taking our freak the, our freak status, and we were owning it. And um, it's like faggots, or, or you know, you, you own the word faggot, or black people own the word nigger. You like it's like they're they're by taking ownership of it, you you take away all of the. Um, Stigma, the stigma supposedly, attached to it, supposedly, right. Although that's not really true. <clears throat> not always. Because there's still but, a lot of stigma attached to the N word. Well, and there's, uh, atta- there's stigma attached to, the, I guess we'll have to say, the F word then as well. Um, but um, but these girls are taking, trying to take, I guess, the stigma, or maybe it's, it's probably just a gimmick. But um, it's a gimmick, you know. I may, maybe they are. Maybe like Cupcake really does like to. Oh, I'm sure song she has. Like five guys. <laughs> I'm sure she has. You watch that song, and there's enough gusto in there for like ten cupcakes. I mean, um, hey, who doesn't like doing being well, slutty? I mean, yeah. But I, I, every time I see this song like this, I wonder what her mother thinks um, when she sees it. But um, well, her mom's mom, probably video. Her mom, mom's probably doing the, the, the videography. <laughs> well, one of the mothers, um, bad. Uh, Bad, bar, bad, is it bad baby? Bad. No, 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 Lil, Lil Tay. Lil Tay is the girl in, um, she's the ch- a Chinese girl. Um, she, they, lived, they were from Toronto, but um, she was the one bragging about having $500,000 put, put, put on a Lamborghini and $100 million for a house. And you, know, you don't own a house like this, and you, you wish you had a house like this. I put 100 GGs on the head, you know. And then it turned out that, the, um, and she's, I think, 11. And it turns out that um, the mother was using, she was a real estate agent, and she was actually using these houses that she was showing to rich people <laughs> and without telling the real estate company. And then they fired her, of course. And, um, <laughs> and, then, and then they moved to, to California, to um, Hollywood, to pursue her life at style as, a, as a rapper or whatever. And then it turns out, it came out that her brother, who was like 16, was actually coaching her, and footage was, was leaked of her brother telling her what to say and, and how to act like a brat. And she, so she's like, kind of saying, you don't know that. Oh, darn it, I did it wrong. Okay, let me do it again. You know, like, you know, and so I guess that ruined her. But, so she's part of this little group, this group of other girls. Um, so she from, was luck for too? From Dr. Yes, and they were all, they were all coming from Dr. Phil. Bad Baby um, came from Dr. Phil. She was, she was on the show as a bratty teen. And um, Dr. Phil told her she'd never amount to anything. She said she wants to be a hip-hop star. He said, well, you have to go to school first. Nobody will ever hire you. 
well, two months later, she took that. Did any hip hop star go to school? No. Yeah. <laughs> two months. Two months later, she took. I would that. think dropping out of school is the prerequisite for being a hip hop well, star. Well, she took the notoriety that she got from Dr. Phil, and now she's got like 26 million views on her song. Uh, on, on all of her songs are like you know in the tens of millions of views, and she got signed to a major label, label and she's like super rich now. So they approached Dr. Phil and they asked him what what he thinks of that now that he's made this he's made this star, and he was like you know. He turned it Did around. He apologize? No, he said that. He well, apologize to America. He said that he was sorry that her parents are um, using her to um, and and um, they don't that they don't care about her mental health and that they're. Oh, basically. okay. Well, first she was like never gonna amount to anything because she's crazy, and then now her parents are taking advantage of her. Right. I, um, you know, not like not like you took advantage of her. Um, right. So all these are all so her for like a thirty are, minute show. These kids are all getting all this attention after being slutty and, and brandy or whatever. And so now it's affected even like the little the um the um the little Kims and Mini, Nicki Minaj. I was gonna say Nicki Minaj and Rihanna, yeah. But um yeah, the little yeah, Kim little too. Kim, little Kim <laughs> Is she still alive, little Kim? Yes, and she's actually looking she's one of those um one of those uh, people that looks better now than they did twenty like like Suzanne Barr. I thought like, she looked good twenty years ago. Well she looks better now. Oh, okay. Um, but now alive. they're kind of um, like uh, like Cardi B came after um, after um, Nicki Minaj after Fashion Week threw her red bottoms at, um, at Nicki Minaj. Yeah, I mean it's all just kind of stupid. I know. That's <laughs> all we have to talk about. <laughs> I like uh, wait a minute. On one last note about uh, about Cupcake, I love that line in her song about how. About her pussy smells like baby wipes and not sardines. Oh, I like the um. She doesn't want to mess up her nails, so she picks up your dick with uh, with chopsticks. <laughs> we'll be right back. And now a word from our sponsor. One of my favorite lines is um, uh, she doesn't need to put drugs in, 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 a, guy, in, a, in a guy's drink to get him to uh, let her give him a blowjob because she's not Bill Cosby. And um, it, it came out in this today. What was it? It's um, JLO, uh, Bill Cosby, I love the daily news in your post headlines. Um, I guess he's gone prison now. You know, I'm just finding out that when last time when he was taken away to the police that he yelled, hey! hey. <laughs> I didn't know that. I saw that when I was looking this up. I don't believe he did that. I, they have it on video. Oh, okay. Um, accusers rejoice. I hope he suffers. <laughs> I mean, I guess. He will. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's no party in jail. Do we have any um, bitches going on? Uh, no. Um, I have we're not, and this time we're not going to make fun of Bill Cosby. We're not going to say that he drugged us. We've already done that. Yeah. <laughs> and it didn't go over so well. Yeah, we didn't. People didn't think it was funny. We, no, we people thought we were serious. Oh my we god. Were, we right. were contacted by an attorney. Oh, that's yeah. right. <laughs> well, they say the best satire is often confused for the real thing. <laughs> Got that. Yeah. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>